So another statistical test that could be really useful to geography or biology investigation is the near neighbor analysis. Why do we use it? Well, really it measures, it enables us to measure the spatial distribution of a pattern. The result we get will tell us if that data is clustered, distributed randomly or in a regular pattern. So for example, you might want to look at the distribution of the type of land used in an area. If you're in a city centre, you might let, expect there to be a high concentration, a clustered amount of services within the city centre or around a particular um, landmark, like a football stadium, for example. Or in a more natural setting, you might want to see the type of vegetation in a given area. Is it clustered, random or regular? So there are a few things that you do need to consider. The minimum sample number really to get an accurate figure is at least 30 and the distance and study area must have the same units. Okay, and that's really important. So when you're measuring the distance between two points, if you're measuring that in meters, then you need to put the, the units of the study area also in meters. And so it's a really simple way to calculate it. Here's a very simple example here. Obviously, I doubt it's gonna be in centimeters, or more likely to be in meters, but let's say we got 12 points here. And really, you need to take them in order. So we start with point one, the nearest neighbor to point one is two. And so we measure that and we say, right, okay, the distance between the two points is 0.8 meters. Then we look at point two and the nearest neighbor to point two is three. And then we go to 0 0.7. And then we go to the nearest neighbor to point three is point two. Then we go to point four, the nearest neighbor to point four is five. The nearest neighbor to point five is four. The nearest neighbor to point six is five and so on and so on building up as we go. Then once we get that, we put them into our table. So here's an example. To what extent does a stone pine woodland form a climax community? The area is 400 meters squared, and we would expect there to be, because it's nature, we would expect there to be a random pattern rather than a regular pattern. If it was regular, it kind of implies that humans have deliberately planted trees as part of an afforestation scheme or anything like that. So it's really important to consider the potential reasons why we, what we, why do we expect it to be a certain pattern and why it could end up being another pattern. And so what I'm going to do is show you how to use the nearest neighbor calculator. Okay, so here is my calculator, which I've done on Excel. Like I said, you don't need to know how to do the calculations. You're not asked to do it, but you are to be aware of, you have to include your data table in your investigation. Um, if you want to find out how to actually, what the calculation is, uh, you can just follow the links that I've put in for the various pages that I found on the end of this video, um, and it should, it should explain it to you in a bit more detail. But really, what's the most important is the value that pops out here in yellow. So remember to put in the area under study, which is 400 meters. You paste in the data, or you input the data for each variable number, and it comes up with this score of 1.27. And so what I'm going to show you now is, against this graph here, what does that mean when you have a score of 1.27? Remember, if it's zero, it goes all the way to clustered, and 2.15, it shows a regular pattern. So, like I said, the result came out at 1.27, and so along my continuum, 1.27 you can see is marked by that red cross. And so what that implies is that my data has a tendency towards a random distribution, i.e. It, it, it would demonstrate that it, this, this has been done naturally. The planting of these trees has been done naturally. So although we don't get, um, like with other statistical tests like Spearman's rank or Pearson's uh, product coefficient, um, we get like we get that compared against a set of values, which tells us with to what, to a 95 or 99% certainty, this, is, this didn't happen by chance. This implies a tendency. However, although the data did imply there was a tendency towards a random pattern, because we had fewer than 30 values, we had fewer than 30 trees, it is difficult to say with any confidence. If we had at least 30 variables that we were measuring the distance from, we could say that there was a random pattern, there was a, um, a regular pattern, there was a clustered pattern, but we can't say that. So in your results, you would have to say, although this shows a tendency towards a random pattern of tree spacing, but with fewer than 30 trees, which is the minimum, fewer than 30 values, which is the minimum required for, um, for the nearest neighbor analysis, we can't say whether or not that occurred. We can't say with any confidence if that did actually happen.